Just what you want to get in line for, right? <laughs> At least it'll be dry. <laughs> yeah, it will be. And it'll be good, pretty good, we hope, for travelers anyway. But of course, there's always those travel weather problems out there that you don't think of, like wind. And, you know, for folks traveling today, travel analyst Evan Dion joining us to talk more about what's happening. Yeah, you think it's going to be busy for the FAA today? I think it could be maybe a little bit busy. It doesn't look like we're seeing a lot of problems, so that's the good news. And, you know, it's the early start to the week, so a lot of business travelers taking flights, trying to get out there to those meetings. So Ricky Bell from the FAA's Command Center joins us now. And, Ricky, Atlanta expecting to see a few showers, maybe even seeing that wind picking up a little later in the day. How will that impact flights into Hartsville-Jackson? Good morning, Evan. Uh, currently, we have over 150 flights in, in the air within a 200. 200 mile radius of Atlanta at this time. So we anticipate the arrivals to land at Atlanta on time. However, when it starts raining in a couple hours, we will have a problem with the wet runways. So we do not expect delays to reach more than 30 minutes as we uh, bring those flights in. And clouds are hanging over the Bay Area. Are travelers going to face any del delays flying into San Francisco? Yes, we anticipate going into a ground delay program for arrivals in the San Francisco 9 a.m. West Coast time, and that'll be an event that will last until noon Pacific Coast time once again. And we have an average delay of at least 60 minutes for San Francisco. Okay, well, thanks a lot, Ricky, and we look forward to talking with you again tomorrow. Well, if you are going to be heading out to the airports this morning, let's take a look at what we're dealing with now and what we might be able to, or what we might be facing a little later on.